and now we're trying something different. Uh, my oven won't go down to like 100 degrees, so um, I'm trying to put them in my dehydrator. And we're seeing uh, that one's breaking all apart. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna work. Uh, oh, I wonder why that was breaking up like that. I wonder if I turn it. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna work. It seems very crumbly. And you see this one's even worse. Yeah, it's not gonna work. Huh? Dang it. Maybe I'll just powder it all up and campfire them. It's kind of working, but I don't think it's ever gonna get solid without taking the heat up. I don't know if that'll mess with it or not. Hmm. See, here's what it looks like in the bucket. It almost looks like it would work, but... I don't know. Maybe I'll put a towel out on the counter and dump it and see what happens. Probably make a huge mess. Well, it has kind of worked. Okay, let's find out. I mean, what's the worst thing that happens is, I mean, it's sugar and I have to melt it down or something. Maybe if I had added a lot more water to begin with or something so that it stuck together harder. But it's got voids. See one like right here. There's a void. A delamination. It's got a delam. <laughs> I watched too much forged in fire. Mess. I think I'll cut that one in a couple pieces, but I don't know. I don't think it's going to work. Wasted time, wasted effort, and not near enough volume. I mean, yeah, okay, so there's enough for like four or five colonies there. I got 15. Hmm, I have to do something different. Here's what we're looking at. And see, it's just not holding together. And it was even fairly wet when I put it in there and packed it good. And it's just not, it's not going to do what I want it to do. It's about like a cake right now. I mean, maybe it'll dry out, but I'm going to have to wait a week for it. I don't got that kind of time. Hmm. I think I just 
just cut a hole in the bottom of the metal pan. I mean, I'd set them up that way, but there's no way I'd hold it. And I understand the reason for the screens and everything, but I didn't have the money to spend on that much. Uh, uh, machine fabric. Machine, well, yeah, yeah, that's what it's called. I mean, it kind of works, but in chunks. I don't know. Well, here's what we got, and I'm going to consider this one a failure. It might be partly successful, but I'm going to consider it a failure because nothing's sticking together the way I wanted, except to the. I mean, those these ones turned out okay. Well, tell you move them. Hmm. There's still surprisingly a large amount of moisture in them. And I had them in the dehydrator for quite a while. Now it was set on very low. And see these pan ones have kind of even done worse. I think I think I consider it a failure. Because not doing what I want. I mean, I'll probably just live with it, but it's just sugar. Uh, the other two that I had the hole in the center are even worse than this one. I gotta, let's see. I put them in there. And this one I tried to add a little bit of moisture to, to kind of get it to glue back together. And yeah, that was a mistake. Oh, now we're baking them. Keeping the heat on lower, but... And I think I'm going to try and get this one back in that pan and do the same thing with it. And it kind of worked. These turned out decent enough. And, you know, even the same thing with these. It's just, it surprises me how much of it has come back apart. I thought it would have bonded better. See, like right here, there's a. But I think I'm gonna do like Lee said from Kodiak Farms. He uses a, a cookie sheet and pat, you know pushes it down in the cookie sheet and lets it dry that way, and just or pushes it down into the cookie sheet, cuts it, and then lets it dry that way. Now. He doesn't live in my moisture, so I may still end up... Oh, see, that's what these were supposed to be. Maybe if I go... I mean, that's not all that thick. Ideally, that was supposed to be for a, a single colony application. I wanted... I was trying to do the holes in the center so that they could keep... Uh, the moisture evaporating but I think if I do that I may do the holes in the center and cut a hole in the center of the pan and just leave it sit in that way you know take these whoops sorry if that was too fast but take these and just cut a hole in the center and you know kind of fold the tin up or something and let the bees come up that way because I kind of want to keep it in the tins, but yeah, see, I put way too much moisture on that one. Surprised me how much was still in it. I think that's one of the issues, is because with as thick as they are, even when your surfaces are uh, dried out, there's a whole lot of moisture inside still. You know, it may have been what was part of the issue with these two. I wanted to make little sugar bricks. Not quite as hard as bricks, but about like that. 
Hmm. Well, back to the drawing board. They'll eat it. Alright. Talk to you later. Bye.